Good afternoon. Today I'm going to show you how to make some really fun tags for Christmas or whatever occasion using the In Love Arts Shop dies. And these are the stitched ornament nesting dies. And I'm going to show you my mistakes so you don't make it. Right here. You'll see those little indentions. It's because I didn't pay attention and I these little tabs right here did not come off clean. Instead of breaking them off, you really need to just use a pair of uh, good wire clips and they will break right off. So I cut these three at a time. Um, I should say three at a time. I cut these in three sizes out of three different papers. Um, this really pretty gray, this light pink, and this white. These are all basil papers, they're very lightweight, so they're great for this. And I've also cut a Merry Christmas sentiment out of sparkling red uh, cardstock. This is glitter cardstock. Um, that I just bought from my local craft store and the die itself is from Spellbinders. So use what you've got and mix and match. Now this is a little overkill but right now um, I honestly am too lazy to get up and get the other glue that I need. I have this fabric glue on my desk and it will work. I don't know if you can see, but this is quite textured as far as the cardstock is concerned. And before I put this Merry Christmas down, I'm going to decide where it's going to live. And to make this easier for yourself, you may want to grab a pair of reverse tweezers to hold on to it, but you really don't need to. This is a um, syringe that I bought off of Amazon, and you can buy the little needle tips that don't have a point, so they're not meant for you know use in like medical stuff. Um, and this is a 20 gauge needle, so it's pretty big. Uh, but if you keep this clean, just rinse it out when you're done with it. It will last a long time, and you're just gonna get that little tiny drop. Of glue and this is all you really need move this out of the way and what you're going to do is just add tiny little drops of glue all over the back of this piece and like you can see quite plainly right this minute having a pair of reverse tweezers would actually be a great thing you want to be somewhat purposeful with this and make sure that you get like a drop on the top and a drop on the bottom so that uh, it will stay down on your project. Uh, this particular syringe is full of um, Gorilla Glue. This is a wood glue. I like it because the, when it's um, you're using it, it has some little fibers in it and those uh, help catch you have some open wiggle time and this will dry fairly clear. If you do what I did, which was not pay attention, you can always take a baby wipe and go over the top of it to get any excess glue off. Now let's do this Christmas as well. You could also use a ruler as a guide to uh, put this down or small pencil marks that you can erase. However, you if you're going to do the pencil mark thing, you want cardstock that is smooth. It would not work on this. It would leave it behind because of the texture of the um, self that I'm using on that one layer. This would also make an adorable card topper. Okay, so there's this little piece. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some decorations for this out of my stash. You could 
poke some holes in this and hang some distressed jingle bells or you can do some flowers or something like that and i think i'm going to do some flowers now according to what you are going to make or how you're going to use it it's going to help determine how you're going to decorate it if you decorate it at all it is just absolutely gorgeous on its own as you can plainly see all right this is from um wild orchid crafts i bought it literally years and years and years ago um i, I do tend to hoard them but i really shouldn't because i have plenty but uh you're gonna probably want to have your wire snips out and ready for this and we're gonna just do a little cluster of flowers up here on the left hand side and in this package are not only different flower sizes, but there are some of these really pretty little gems. We might be using those, we'll see. So the first thing you're really gonna want to do is go ahead and trim any excess off the back of these so that they will lay flat and we're not gonna use a big one. And we're probably gonna use some of these little leaves. I'm going to do the uh, two layer approach as far as attaching these because I don't want them to ever come off. So I'm going to be using some E6000 glue along with some hot glue. All the hot glue is gonna do honestly folks is just hold this in place so it doesn't slip. Now let's uh, get these two smaller flowers. I am working on a tonic glass mat. I purchased mine from Hobby Lobby and used a 40% off coupon. This one um, shows Tim Holtz on it. So I'm going to give you guys a tip. If um, you're at Hobby Lobby and they have the Tim Holtz stuff on sale, this is part of that sale. Along with any dies that say Tim Holtz, even if they're just Sizzix. So you can take advantage of both their Sizzix die cell one week and then the Sizzix die cell that has Tim Holt's name on it the, the next. So, okay, so what I want to do is just take these little wires and just kind of curl them so that they look like little spindles. When you're working with that type of a project, you do kind of want to work in rules of three or five because that gives your mind, excuse me, because it gives your eye a place to rest. These really don't need a two layer glue process. They will set up up underneath that the uh, flowers there that'll help hold them in place. But if you're in doubt as to that, grab yourself a clothespin and just put that right there and it will hold it in place perfectly. You may need several. Okay, so do what works for you. All right, so these little guys now, I'm not gonna use them, I don't really like them. All right, these are just some, and I do mean really, really tiny glass. Uh, they're almost like cabochons, but they're, it's like a flat back pearl, they're just clear. And they do catch the light quite well. So I'm going to just be using our glue. Once again, this is plenty strong enough to hold these in place. And we're going to put these down on our project. Nice thing is, if you change your mind, these are pretty easy to get up while the glue is still wet. And then you just wipe it off. You're going to want to wipe off your glue really well before you cap it. So that your cap doesn't stick but if you're like me and you can't find the cap that you just took off wrap it in a baby wipe and set it aside your cap will show up in you know five minutes all right so we're going to take our clamps off and there you have it you can use this as a uh, gift topper you can use this as a on a treat bag uh, yeah, there's a billion ways, I think, that uh, you could use this in different pattern papers, um, different sentiments for whatever your needs are. 
I will be leaving a link to this product along with a coupon code for 20% off of your purchase with the In Love Art Shop. So uh, I hope you will take advantage of that. If you have any questions, leave them down below or send me an email. All of that information will also be in the description box. I hope that you guys have a wonderful week. Stay happy. Be a blessing. See you soon. Bye for now.